the question comes up, who should be screened for diabetes? The American Diabetic Association recommends that we screen everyone over the age of 45. They also give us the liberty of screening people that are under 45 years old, that have had or have a body mass index over 25, which means they're overweight, or they have an additional risk factor for diabetes. Those risk factors include high cholesterol, hypertension, any female that has had a birth of a child over nine pounds or a history of gestational diabetes, any high risk ethnic groups, which include Hispanic Americans, African Americans, and Native Americans, or anyone with any habitual physical inactivity. Screening for type 2 diabetes is very simple. It includes either a simple blood test drawn from the arm or a finger stick test, which includes getting a drop of blood from your finger, placing it in something we call a glucometer, and within seconds, your doctor can find out whether you have high blood glucose or not, putting you at risk for diabetes. Your blood glucose can be used to determine whether you are diabetic, pre-diabetic, or you're not diabetic at all. A fasting blood glucose level under 100 can determine you as being normal. Anything in the range of 100 to 125 can put you in the impaired fasting glucose category or pre-diabetes, or anything over 125 can determine you as being a type 2 diabetic. We normally will test your blood glucose on two separate occasions that in combination with symptoms can determine whether you have type 2 diabetes or not. Early detection and treatment of type 2 diabetes is important for two major complications. One being eye damage secondary to diabetes and the other one being kidney damage from diabetes. We estimate that at least 20% of newly diagnosed diabetics already have some eye damage from diabetes and a good 10% of people that are newly diagnosed diabetics already have some kidney damage from diabetes. I believe if we can get to screen people, treat them early, whether it be with medications or lifestyle modifications, that we can either A, help to prevent some of these complications or B, help to at least halt the progression in time.